رسول الله رسول الله بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم in the name of God the most gracious the most merciful we want to speak here a little bit more about uh, the mission of the prophet Muhammad peace be upon him uh, in Mecca in the early period Again, we are telling the most beautiful story that was ever told about the most beautiful and merciful of all human beings who ever lived, the greatest of the prophets, the brother of Jesus, the brother of Moses, the son of Abraham, the prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And all should read about his life story. The best book available today is the book of Martin Lynx, L-I-N-G-S, Muhammad, his life based on earliest sources. Please get this book and read this book. Every Jew and Christian must read this book. This is an obligation that every Jew and Christian owes to God, to learn the prophet of the end of time, the Deuteronomy prophet, and to follow him. In the Meccan period for 13 years, uh, there is a gradual buildup of the message. The prophet is first a prophet, and then he becomes a messenger. Messengers and prophets are those who receive the law by revelation, not just revelation, they receive the law. As we mentioned, for example, in Genesis uh, 49, 1 through 10, God speaks of the lawgiver who will be with Judah. This is always a prophet. Prophets receive law, but messengers are special prophets like Shiloh, Shiluh, who are sent to people at large, to sent to nations in order that they receive the law of God, the Sharia, the path that leads to life, the path that leads to water, the blessed prophetic law that is, protects animals, the environment, human beings, the family, that gives us every freedom and everything that we need. So during this first period, the prophet is a prophet, for three years, he gives his message to his family. Uh, he is not called upon to deliver that message to others. And then at the end of three years, the command is given now to come out and to teach the oligarchy of Mecca and the different tribes of Arabia and all human beings this blessed message. During this early period of Mecca, the first 13 years, from about uh, 610 to about 623, uh, the prophet focuses on the foundations of faith, the oneness of God, the absolute glory of God, the um, need to rely on God, uh, the belief in the hereafter, the garden and the fire, which are ancient Christian and Jewish and human beliefs, uh, the development of good character, the purification of the soul, a reflection on creation, looking at the mountains and the trees and the animals and the realities of this beautiful world in which we live in order to know God. And this stage of the mission of the Prophet, peace be upon him, focuses on what in the prophetic law will be called the first obligation. The first and the greatest of all obligations is to know your Lord, to know God, to know his perfection, that he necessarily exists. He is pre-existent, no beginning, no end, no need, no likeness. Nothing in creation is likened to God. He is not in us. He is not outside of us. He is not in space and time. He is the Lord of space and time. The God, the living God, the personal God, the merciful God, the God who has life, infinite knowledge, will, power, hearing, seeing, and uncreated speech. So this is the focus of the Prophet, peace be upon him, in Mecca. And we should never forget this, because as Muslims, or as new Muslims coming in to this great faith of Islam, this beautiful faith of mercy, this civilization of Islam, we have to always develop this foundation first, and we have to preserve it at all times. And we have to understand that faith that does not come out of the heart and is not based on the intellect and an understanding of revelation is always virtually a dead letter. The law is not just to practice. The law is to understand and to put that practice into effect. May God enable us to know all of his prophets and to know Jesus Christ 
as Jesus Christ really was. We want to follow Jesus Christ according to the teaching of Jesus Christ, who is the prophet who told us that we must also follow the paraclete, the prophet at the end of time. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.